I think it's crazy how a single horse can change our lives so much. Hello equestrians, my name is Alyssa and I am on a quest to ride every breed. There are hundreds of different horse breeds and each one has their own unique story. So saddle up and join me on a ride to discover the horse. In this episode, we're meeting up with a mom and daughter team and they breed traditional gypsy cubs. Think horse. It's good advice. Originally bred by the Romani gypsies to pull caravans in the British Isles, the horses needed to be powerful and intelligent, but also calm enough to be safe around the family. Hello. Hello, Hello. nice to meet you. You too. Hillary. For me, it's a horse that you can put the whole family on, and from little kids to granny, yeah. <laughs> just yeah, suit everyone. And then, well, the biggest standout of anything when you look at Gypsy Cub is the feather. Um, not the most important thing, but I think that's what people are drawn in by. Yeah, that hair, <laughs> the feather, yeah, the feather, the, the mane, mane, the tail, tail. just um, impressive, um, powerful. Yeah, so I was looking for a horse for Joanna. So at that point, we had a fell pony, didn't we? Yeah. And I really had always sort of looked at the traditional cobs like them. Initially, we were into plaited horses, but then um, I really liked, you know, the look of them. We really fell in love with the more native breeds and um, their sort of versatility, I suppose. And um, they're, um, I guess, they're calmer, aren't they? Quieter. Kind. Um, kind horses, yeah. more, more, probably more suited to Joanna's um, temperament. <laughs> yeah, Mom's so. telling all your yeah. secrets today. So I went off actually with another lady to go and have a look at um, this stallion and when we got there he had an abscess in his foot and so um, we had a look at him but we couldn't try him and she then just said to me, I, I happen to have another one that I've got here that I'm selling for it was a friend of hers who'd had a baby and looked at him I fell in love with him and so well, I bought him didn't I? Yeah. You were very nervous then because she'd never ridden a stallion or managed a stallion. Yeah, I was only a young teenager. Yeah, yeah. So I was like 13. Were you 13 yeah. at that point Aww. when I got him? Yeah. <laughs> and you had to be 14 to, to ride him. Yeah. He took me into the Hoys classes with like, I was the only child in there. Aww. All adults were yeah. there. So he right. took me and he looked after me. The one that started it all. Oh my god. Old gosh. man now. <laughs> Did you think when you first started, like when you got him, that it would turn into what it is today? Definitely not, no. Definitely not. Absolutely not. That's no. So fun. I think it's crazy how a single horse can change our lives so much. Yeah. And then it just like just goes on from yeah. there. You know, it ends up people working to save an endangered breed or they start riding in a way they never thought they would and it's just it's so cool what these guys do for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely a horse a horse of a lifetime. Mm. I don't think there'll ever be another horse that will come close to what he's done. Oh. Just in terms of what what we did together, I think achievement wise and just his personality. Um, he's just so lovely. It's time to meet some of the other horses here at the stud. So this is Thomas's foal. Oh this is Thomas Hi. baby. Hello. So what's the plans for this one? So he will hopefully stay yeah. and be a future stallion. I just have to say, this is so cool. Mom and daughter, <laughs> like you guys are so much fun together and to hang out with. This just has to be so cool for you to be doing this together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have our moments, don't we? Yeah. Have you done the dab horse? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're so fun. Oh. <gasps> A bacon and egg pie. Yeah, so my mom. Yeah, so you can, my mum goes for breakfast and comes back with ponies. So, <laughs> did you just call it a bacon and egg pie? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Because we we went for a, no, not we, you, <laughs> Tom. We met, went for breakfast and and there was a sale on, and we we called we bought two. One's called bacon and one's called egg. Oh, egg and bacon. They were, weren't they? they? Were. I love the feeling of just walking into each of these stalls and like we have the door open right now. Yeah. And she's just like, oh, oh, 
you're coming to see me. Like there's just, you almost feel like your your own heart rate slowing down and yeah. just like getting into the groove of just like hanging out. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, she's really <laughs> sweet. Lovely nature. Aww. So yeah, she's been a broodmare, but she's just coming back into work, isn't she? So we're gonna use her, we, we run a riding school as well. So she's gonna be part of the riding school. Yeah. Wow. Gosh. Okay, so how how often do you once a week. Once a week. Yeah, yeah what I do is yeah, I take it out once a week. We use it's called pig oil. I don't know if you ever heard of that. I have not heard of that. So we put that in, I brush it, I use like an actual brush, comb it through, and just plat plat it back up. Wow. I mean that is that's a massive amount of hair. <laughs> Ringo! Palomino stallion. Oh. His mane, he's not as long, but he's thicker. Thick. So yeah, thick. he's got like a double mane. Whoa. Man, you are a powerhouse. Look at you. <laughs> you are very different from the others that we met, but you're very handsome too. He is the only colored stallion to be used by Her Majesty the Queen. Yeah, that's his claim to fame. That's a pretty good claim to fame. <laughs> That's a pretty good claim to fame for sure. Got the, <laughs> yeah. got the royal stamp. I mean, where else do you go from there? The Traditional Gypsy Cob Association was launched in 2005. They manage the stud book for the breed and now have members around the world. Breed number 70! Oh my gosh, this is way <laughs> too exciting. One, two, three. Happy with them. Yeah. It does slip a bit because he's so round. <laughs> <laughs> so if it is going wide, just kind of, yeah. Wide load? Yeah, he needs one of them. Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> he thanks you as well. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you at the next breed. <laughs>